Sky and Ari blowing the Macross 15th anniversary uh, from March 6th of 1998. And uh, here goes. So, um, you would think that besides offering us the same old model kits, they would have offered us completely new, never before seen kits, and also retooled the older kits. I mean, how many of you out there have been dying to have a variable 172 or bigger Ellen Seeker or an ostrich model kits? And what about a YF-19 and YF-21? So far, the only way we've been able to get some of these is by paying outrageous uh, amounts for garage kits that are a tremendous chore to assemble. Ugh. There's more. And what about new toys? Those new figures by Ari are so pathetic. How could they release figures of robots that are best known for their cool transformations? Maybe it wouldn't be so bad if they actually looked cool, but these figures are based off Ari's line of models, which are such a poor representation of the Valkyries. If you have a copy of the January issue of Hobby Japan, let's face it, who doesn't, which has a big, which has a cover and big section on both Macross, plastic, and garage kits. You'll see how awesome Ari's 1100th VF1S Strike Batroid Valkyrie model could have been if Ari had just taken the time to retool the mold. The modeler who so skillfully modified this kit turned it from a piece of crap into the finest VF1S completed model I've seen so far. It looks as good as a fully assembled and posable resin kit. This person really understood how to alter the numerous flaws in the RE kit. It's too bad we all don't have the talent and skill to do this. I hope that if there are plans for a 15th anniversary of the Macross movie, these companies have something new and worthy to offer, other than the same old crap and crap that fails to live up to the past, i.e. 80s Takatoku Bandai Valkyries. So there.